Hello, my friend. Take advantage of fun stories and adventures. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for exciting content, updates, and more. Hit that subscribe button now. The Adventure of Andy the Ant Once upon a time in a bustling meadow, there lived a tiny ant named Andy. Andy wasn't like all the other ants in his colony. While his friends loved collecting food and building tunnels, Andy was full of curiosity and loved to explore. One sunny morning, Andy decided to venture out on a grand adventure. I wonder what's beyond the big oak tree, he thought, looking towards the tallest tree in the meadow. Without telling anyone, Andy set off, his little legs moving as fast as they could carry him. As Andy walked through the tall blades of grass, he saw something shiny. It was a puddle. To a little ant like Andy, it looked like a great big lake. He could even see his reflection. Wow! Look at me, he exclaimed, laughing as the ripples made his reflection wiggle. But then, something unexpected happened. A gentle breeze blew by, and suddenly a leaf came floating down from the tree above. The leaf landed right in the middle of the puddle, creating small waves. Andy, being the brave little ant he was, had an idea. I can use this leaf as a boat, he said. Climbing aboard the leaf, Andy drifted across the puddle. He waved at the passing dragonflies and butterflies who were flying overhead. Hello up there. Andy called out. Where are you going, little ant? asked a bright blue butterfly as she fluttered nearby. I'm on an adventure. Andy replied with a grin. After crossing the puddle, Andy's leaf boat gently bumped against the other side. He hopped off and continued on his way, marveling at the flowers and tall plants around him. Suddenly, he heard a soft buzzing sound. Bzzzz. Hello, little ant. It was a bumblebee named Bella, busy collecting nectar from a flower. What brings you so far from home? I'm exploring the world, said Andy proudly. I've seen a great big puddle and sailed across it on a leaf. Bella smiled. Well, don't go too far, little one. The meadow is big, but it's always nice to have friends nearby. Andy thanked Bella and kept going. As the day went on, he found more wonders, sparkling dewdrops on the grass, a friendly ladybug, and even a bright rainbow in the sky after a gentle rain. But soon, the sun began to set, and the sky turned pink and orange. Andy realized it was time to head back home. Oh no! How will I find my way back? He worried. The big oak tree seemed so far away now. Just then, Andy remembered something his mother had told him. Follow your heart, and it will guide you home, she always said. Andy took a deep breath, looked up at the sky, and started walking back the way he came. He passed by the puddle, the flowers, and finally, he spotted the big oak tree in the distance. When Andy finally reached his colony, his friends were so happy to see him. Where have you been? they asked. I went on the greatest adventure. Andy told them. I sailed on a leaf, met a butterfly, and saw a rainbow. From that day on, Andy knew that while adventures were fun, there was no place quite like home. And every now and then, when he looked up at the big oak tree, he smiled, remembering his grand journey. And so, Andy the ant lived happily ever after, always ready for a new adventure, but always knowing when to return to the place he loved most. The End